Hilda Faye McCormick and Donald Ray Whiteman are missing from Pleasant Hill, Tennessee. Her last date of contact was Monday, June 3rd, 1991. Hilda drives a green Ford pickup. The year and model and shade of green are all unknown. The Ford pickup license plates are of Tennessee. It is DRF 591. The Cumberland Sheriff's Office is investigating. They can be reached at 931 484 6176. There is an article that Hilda was missing uh, with her boyfriend. They were at her brother's home, leaving his home at around 6.30 p.m. Donald's sister reported them missing, and she stated that Donald had been receiving threatening phone calls prior to their disappearance. There, I have no pictures of Donald Way, Ray Whiteman. Let's see here. Left. Okay, and then... Hilda's brother is Richard Randolph. They left his home at 6.30 p.m. I could find no weather history for Pleasant Hill or the surrounding suburbs, but it was June, so it's got to be fairly nice. So I think it would cool off in the evenings because of the, the mountains there. They might have had a little bit of rain in the afternoon, but... I don't think the weather would really play a factor at this point in time. Some questions I have for her family and uh, Donald's is where did Hilda work, volunteer, church, and any clubs like a card club or anything like that that she would have gone to? Does she prefer to drive on main roads or back roads? Does Hilda drive at night after dark? I'm thinking it was 6.30, she left her brother, so probably sun probably set around 9, I'm guessing. Uh, did she drive through any detours that were in an unfamiliar area? Did she make any recent calls to AAA, her insurance carrier, or her mechanic, if there was any vehicle issues? Uh, if I get the exact address of her home and... Uh, well, actually, I should probably try to find Donald's address as well as her brother Richard's. I'm thinking they might have left Richard's home and tried to head either to Hilda's home or Donald's home or where she would work or get groceries or anything like that. So I want to trace all the routes and look at water areas. Uh, the la- the place of the last verifiable transaction with a check or a credit card. And then does she have any health issues? A bladder infection the days before her disappearance. Does she have any vision problems, heart problems, neurological seizures, or diabetes? Welcome to Adventure Sphere. This channel is dedicated to missing people who are missing with a vehicle. In the process of creating this database, we are creating a volunteer sonar search and recovery dive team. Our services are free of charge. We ask you to consider subscribing, watch our content, and help spread awareness of our endeavor. The places I will mention here in a minute are shared with my blessing, so Hilda and Donald can be reunited with their families, regardless who higher powers work through. The description box has our email address if you'd like to share insight on any cold case, know someone missing with a vehicle and would like them featured on our channel and search for, or to donate equipment. The video of Google Earth has a measurement from our current best starting location and goes out to possible search areas. We focus our searches on bodies of water within five miles of their last known location and within five miles of their destination. Sentimental sites can also be sonared. If an area has been heavily searched, we may expand the search area, but please keep in mind that accidents tend to happen closer to home. So the areas I would like to search first, uh, there's boat ramps on the Caney Fork, River Watch boat ramp, the Holiday Haven boat ramp. I Kind of jumping back here. This little part of the road, I think it was Eastland Road. There's a 
bend in the road here and I think she could very easily have gone into this body of water if she was driving near that area. Anyway, um, so boat ramps, Holiday Haven boat ramp, the Silver Point boat ramp, Pinhook, and the Rockwood boat ramp. And then near or in Pleasant Hill, there's Upland Lake. Alice Lake and Dam would be a really good place to look at. Uh, then it gets out a little bit further from town, but there's Wonder Lake. There's water. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that road that we were just stuck on. It's 5.6 miles southwest of town on Eastland Road. Uh, Caney Fork near Clifty Road has a newer bridge. And there's either waterfalls or rapids right there. So her car may have gotten, if she went off road on the old bridge, she may have, her car may have gotten stuck down in the rapids there. And then there's Lake Aloha Aloha and Lake Holiday. Those are about six and seven miles out of town. If you'd like to help Hilda and Donald's family find them, please subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and ring the notification bell to receive progress reports. I'll let the video play out here just a few more minutes so you can see the entire search area. If you see something I missed, please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and remember that we love you. Mm -hmm.